Hello and welcome to this live demonstration of external users access to on-prem SharePoint. And let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Atul Raizada. I represent Logicalis. Logicalis is uh, one of Microsoft uh, US Gold Partner. And uh, we have the opportunity and privilege to work with several hundreds of customers uh, with their Microsoft Cloud journey. And um, we are excited to talk about Azure Active Directory B2B, which uh, enhances your audience for your on-prem applications significantly without investing into complex technologies. Um, this is the advancement. This is very exciting news and a simple, easy, elegant way to do that. The problem that we are trying to resolve in this demonstration is that we have a customer who has invested heavily into uh, on-prem SharePoint form, a lot of customization and whatnot. And now customer wants to extend uh, the benefit of their SharePoint deployment to external users without worrying about creating these, those identities in their Active Directory. Uh, we have seen many customer doing that and this solution would work for all those customers who want to extend not only SharePoint but um, on-prem applications to a larger audience by inviting those users with their email addresses. And that is the premise of this live demo. It's a short demo and I hope you will like it. With that, let's get into and uh, high-level setup steps. So basically, uh, we're not going to show you every single step how to execute those uh, single steps because that's going to be a very lengthy demonstration. But just to give you an insight of what are we trying to do here in this solution, right? And in that scenario, the uh, I'm going to go from bottom to up kind of a thing, right? So we will invite the external users with their email through the B2B process. So user would receive an email and he would be invited to our application. Once that user gets into that and he clicks on that link, he would be required to type his password and configure his account. Very simple and he would need to get, you know, he will get a validation email from Azure B2B. Once he validates, his account is all set up. And by the way, this account is now being created in Azure Active Directory, right? That's the key that we need to understand. Now, because this account is being created in Azure Active Directory, now we need to make sure that SharePoint can authenticate against this Azure Active Directory. So in order to accomplish that, we need to run certain tasks. We need to configure Azure Active Directory to service token requests from ADFS because ultimately Azure Active Directory is going to authenticate these users for SharePoint. That's why Azure Active Directory should be able to receive the service tokens right from the Active Directory Federation services. And these Active Directory Federation services is generally running in customer on-prem environment. Then we also need to configure ADFS to use Azure AD root tenant as a claim provider because this is all claim tokens. And we will configure SharePoint as the relying party in ADFS. Not a very difficult task, few, st few steps. And once you do that, you're good to go. And as I mentioned, now because of that, we also need to allow these external users access to the SharePoint and that we could do by the people picker and allow these users, Azure Active Directory identities, the access, relevant access to the SharePoint. This is all what we are trying to accomplish today. Should be straightforward and let's dive into the live demonstration, right? I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna walk into the solution straight away. So we're gonna go to uh, Azure portal. And what we have already done is, in order to make this work, we have created an ADFS application in Azure Active Directory, right? And uh, when I say this application, this is uh, not a, a very lengthy task. It takes about less than five minutes to create this application. So don't think that it is too complex and you cannot handle it and you cannot manage it, right? That's all I'm saying here. So if I select here, this is the application which is an ADFS application in Azure, talks to the ADFS on-prem and does all the stuff that I talked in my PowerPoint, right? So if we look into this, this process is very simple. Application is created, takes less than five minutes, configure the ADFS 
um, on the on the on-prem side, configure all the tokens, selling and uh, claim parties there. And once you are done, you will come here on users and groups in a regular day-to-day -day activity. There is a user that needs to be allowed access, external users. We click add users here, straightforward, right? Now we have got two options. We can allow an existing Azure Active Directory users, but that's not what we are trying to accomplish. It's a B2B solution. So we're going to try to invite an external user and uh, um, that user, let me just copy the email address before I forget. So we're going to go this user that I just created a few minutes back for the testing purposes. If we want, we can also send some kind of a message, personal message here. And I will just do it for the sake. And I'm going to invite this user now. By the way, there is a good blog, an article uh, that you may look into for the requirement, licensing requirement for B2B and MFA, right? So I got this user that has been invited. I select it and I assign this application to this user, right? Now my this user shows up here and now I hope that this user should have received an email from Azure B2B, right? So let's look at that. And as you will notice, this user has received an email just now, 650, and if you look here, right now it's 651. So Azure Active Directory, Azure B2B has sent an invitation to this user, and it's self-explanatory, right? The message that I wrote, personal message shows up here. You can customize it and tailor it. And then just the user click the get started, he is, need to set up his account in Azure Active Directory. So we need to create his password. The user has to create a password. I apologize. So user creates his password. Let me make sure. And then it says here, check your emails. So the user would res have received an email back from Microsoft Azure B2B, here is the verification code. And you go back here, paste it, and finish. It will take a few minutes to set up this account. I'm gonna pause for that time, not to waste your time. And if you guys see here, the user have already got access to the Azure application. I'm not going to touch it now because we have yet not completed one more task. We have not allowed this user access on the on-prem SharePoint. So let's try to do this now. I have got my SharePoint site open. Please do not worry about this URL here. Um, this was because of the very limited uh, certificates, SSL certificate that I had available. That's why the URL looks a little funky, www.webmail. But don't worry about it. Let's just try to add this user to the business owners group, right? And uh, we'll see how it goes. And if I remember, what was my email address? So our user was And I think that's the one. And we have given this user the permissions of this on-prem SharePoint. Okay, and uh, if we go back here, that's all good. You can minimize this window. Either I can click right here, or in general, the user would actually go to the SharePoint URL. So let me pull that and try to log on to the SharePoint on-prem SharePoint. So that's my SharePoint URL. And if he tries to get in there, 
Oh, I think he's already logged on with the last user. So let me log out. And when he gets in here, he would get this drop down window. Either he can log on if he is on prem and he has a active directory account, he can sign with Windows authentication. If he's an external user, he can pick up Azure and that would let him go through his B2B application. And if I remember this, that was the account. And because this uh, application has also been configured with multi-factor authentication to be furthermore safer and secure. So this is where it's asking to set the MFA setting. We can do it quickly. I'm gonna type a phone number and let it call me. Here you go. Using the Microsoft sign-in verification system, please press the pound key to finish your verification. Your sign-in was successfully verified. Goodbye. And that should be all set. And here you go. So, and I can just log off one more time and show you that multi-factor authentication would work flawlessly now because it was the first time set here. But what we have done so far is that we have created a enterprise application in Azure for Active Directory Federation services, configured that Active Directory Federation Azure application to talk to on-prem ADFS configured the Azure Active Directory root tenant as a claim provider. We have configured the SharePoint as a relying party, relying party. and uh, once we have configured all that, we have allowed the user on SharePoint, on-prem SharePoint access to this external user, and it works fine. It is simple, straight, and elegant. Let me just log out one more one time here to make sure that uh, the multi-factor authentication is working. sign out here and go one more time here to do, go to that website Azure yeah it just took the cash credentials but as I said this should just work fine let me close this here let me close this here and try to launch uh, Internet Explorer. In a private browser so that we can see that multi effect authentication is working. I think that's our URL if I got it right. And here you go. And uh, demo dot share zero one at amfw dot info, I guess. Share zero one. Password. And here you go, the phone call is should be coming any minute. The Microsoft sign in verification system. Please press the pound key. The sign in was successfully verified. Goodbye. And voila. So I think that's all this demo is all about. I hope I have shown you how powerful, how simple, how elegant the solution is. And all of a sudden, 
the customer share point now is accessible to any other business any other organization that customer wants to right this is this is very powerful solution and i hope you like it thank you again very much for your valuable time and uh, we'll talk in our next session bye bye